opened in Dover 40 years ago. Tonight, people are being invited to see their town on film as it was then and as it is today. The Dover Film Festival is showing two pieces, one documenting the events of 2006, the other of 1966. Sarah Smith reports. Winter 1966 and the conditions were icy. Temperatures dropping as low as minus 8 degrees C, 18 degrees Fahrenheit as it would have been then. Dover was frozen. But while it was a nightmare for the motorists, there were those that loved it. A few months later and things were very different. Record numbers of sun seekers packed the harbour beaches. All provided footage for a film that would document the year in the life of the town. Terry Nunn worked with the filmmaker Ray Warner. You can see how the town has changed and how people have changed also in terms of uh, fashion, uh, the way people work and talk. And uh, yes, it's, it, it is a very good social history. It was very much a different town then. Um, just take the seafront, for example. Um, you'll see fountains and flowers. Um, they've all gone. And in the days before Operation Stack, the camera caught another reason for hold-ups in Dover. But the circus coming to town wasn't the only thing causing this ever-expanding cross-channel ferry port to grind to a halt. 1966 saw a strike by a thousand seamen halting all ferries for 47 days. It was also the year Lord Mountbatten opened a new factory for an electrical company. It was to become one of the town's biggest employers. And this is it today, appearing on a new Dover film. Also featuring the highlights of 2006, the new production will be played back to back with the 66 film at the Town Hall. I hope it, 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 it continues the record and I feel very privileged and be able to do this. In 66, Dover's biggest day was the former Australian PM Sir Robert Menzies becoming Lord Warden of the Sinkports. Last year, it was the army leaving. In 40 years' time, who knows? Sarah Smith, BBC South East Today, Dover. What worries me is that a number of people think that 1966 footage is just vintage archive. It is. To me, it's just the other day. <laughs> it's the other day. Now then, he's already made a name for him.